Welcome back to Cap That Flag. Today we're looking at a new challenge from the Pico CTF series and it's titled Mind Your P's and Q's. It's worth 20 points. It's from Pico CTF 2021 and it's in the cryptography category. And the description reads, in RSA, a small E value can be problematic, but what about N? Can you decrypt this? And then it links to a file. So we'll download the file using wget. It says decrypt my super sick RSA. I've got a C value, an N value, and an E value. So I've had to do some research for this one. Cryptography is not my strong suit. And so I've done some research about RSA and this will by no means be comprehensive on how RSA works, but it'll at least hopefully demonstrate the steps to take to, to generate the flag and solve the challenge. So there's some standard letters that are used to represent values for RSA. And we've been given C, N, and E. A C is generally representing the ciphertext. So the flag will come out of this number here. The N is referred to as a modulus, and that's made out of two large prime numbers that are multiplied together. And those two prime numbers are normally called P and Q. We've also been given E, which is the public exponent. And a public key is generally made out of the modulus and the public exponent. And the private key is made with the modulus and the private exponent, which is called D. We also have something called Phi N, which I've also seen called a totient. And it's getting very mathsy for me, so I'm going to skip over that bit. Suffice to say, it's required to calculate the private exponent, which we need to decode the message. So given the information that we have, the C, N, and the E, we should be able to calculate the rest of the information that we need. Um, so the N will give us P and Q with this uh, formula here. Then the totient we can get out of P and Q. Then we can get the private exponent with E and the totient. And finally, to decode the message and get, get the plain text flag, we need the ciphertext, the private exponent, and the modulus. So basically, the steps we need to do is we need to find the factors of N to get P and Q. We need to calculate the totient using P and Q. We calculate the private exponent using E and the totient, and then we calculate the plain text message using the ciphertext, the private exponent, and the modulus. So we can feed the modulus into factor DB and hit factorize. So these two numbers are P and Q, and they multiply together to make our modulus. So now we could continue on calculating the totient and the private exponent and getting the message by doing these formulas. Uh, I'm going to take a shortcut though. So I'm going to take a shortcut by using this RSA decoder tool. And we just need to plug in the values that we have. So we've put in the, the C value, the E value, the N value, and the P and the Q. And we can give ourselves the computed values that will give us the other things that we need, including the private exponent just here. But we can even skip further and go straight to the decoded message. So we'll do that. And here we have the flag. So that was an interesting one. It had a little bit too much maths in it for my taste, but it's still a good one to learn. But anyway, that wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.